Given the traditional separation between elected officials and their spouses, Jill Biden's presence at the front of the table during a cabinet meeting is seen as inappropriate by some. Have she talked about the fact that sometimes the White House, in her words, surprises you. And for somebody who has worked on women's health issues for her whole uh, career, frankly, as, as a teacher, but also as the second lady and now as the first lady, she said one of the things that struck her the most was the inequities in medical research, funding for medical research for women. So this is an important priority of hers that she had the opportunity to add this cabinet meeting to spotlight. And as you uh, had that great interview with her, Peter, talking about the fact that, yes, a, a burden may have been lifted from her husband's shoulder in one respect, with the end of his campaign, but there's still a lot of work that they both intend to do during their last few months in office here. Power, in principle, should be wielded by those who are elected. And it is crucial to maintain a clear distinction between personal relationships and public office. The imagery of the First Lady sitting in what appears to be a leadership role at such a high-level government meeting could be interpreted as undermining the established hierarchy and blurring the lines between family influence and formal governance.